Now, if you regularly watch Loose Women, you'll know we never shy away from tricky conversations or so-called taboo topics, and today is no different. Now, this is, this is the first time that we've spoken about terminations for medical reasons. It's the impossible decision that some women are faced with to end a pregnancy because their unborn baby is diagnosed with a life-threatening condition in the womb. Our guest, Zara Dawson, sadly faced exactly that horrific dilemma. She's here, as you can see, um, to share her story today with the help of her very close friend, Denise. And I know that I'm sure that will make you feel a bit more comfortable it does, it does. that Denise is here because she's gone through this with you. Um, firstly, thank you for talking about it, because even in our meeting today, we, we were saying that, you know, we hadn't discussed this before no. and it was the subject that we didn't really know a lot about. Yeah. Um, so, termination for medical reasons. When were you told that that was something that you would have to consider? We'd been... I'd been having weekly scans because I'd had terrible trouble with my first pregnancy with Jax, so they were watching me very carefully. Who is now three and gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes. Mm. Um, and it was just a routine scan, didn't think anything of it, and went in and everything <clears throat> looked perfect to me on the, on the screen. Well, so much so you text your mum, didn't you? I did. Say... I text my mum and my sister at 12.07 to <laughs> say, everything looks amazing, he's kicking and waving. And at 12.25, I text to say they've found a pouch of fluid on his stomach. I'm devastated. And literally, within those 18 minutes, mm. I mean, our world collapsed, absolutely. And when you say they found a pouch of fluid, they obviously then go on to explain that, what that means for the baby and what that meant yes, for Yes, they you. said it could be one of three things. The first two were fixable. Um, with an operation at birth and the third one they said to us it simply means he's incompatible with life but their words were but we aren't dealing with that and they said go home come back in two weeks and I mean I just I couldn't wait two minutes let alone two weeks yeah. so we went to get um, a private scan and the next day we could see just how I mean he was so poorly there was no way he would survive at And all. also there was a risk to your own health. They said if his foot was... Yeah, so his was like it was going to puncture. Body, body stalk. Body stalk anomaly. So basically his body hadn't closed. So we start as two halves and we close. So his body hadn't closed. So all of his organs, apart from his heart, were outside of his body. And his heart was still beating absolutely perfectly um, until the very end. But it was just... Yeah, I mean, he was never, never, ever so going Zara, to So, Zara, this isn't about making a decision that, say you know, you, you were diagnosed and your child had, say, Down mm. syndrome and you made a choice whether or not you could, you, you could, you know, bring that child into the world. This was something that, like you say, there was no chance that Jessie was going to survive and no. it was also dangerous to you. Absolutely. And I feel, for me, it wasn't a choice, and for my husband, Lex, it wasn't a choice at all because he was never coming home with us. So, mm. to us, it was a, it was a timing. When, when and it's not an he... abortion. It wasn't no, an abortion. I hate, no, it wasn't. Yeah. It was a termination because our baby wouldn't survive. But there are many women who do terminate because their babies have Down syndrome or they have, you know, genetic abnormalities or that it's something that they don't want their babies to lead a life of severe handicap. Mm -hmm. And that's OK too. I mean, Sarah said it was not an abortion, um, but you did... A lot of women, you didn't and you fought to do this in hospital, but a lot of women do have to have this termination in an abortion so clinic. So they tried to send me away and they said, you can either have the baby here and give birth. And I sadly saw my nephew, Henry, born sleeping and I could not be in a room again where I gave birth and the baby was silent. So my other option was to go to an abortion clinic. So I was sent away with a few leaflets on an abortion clinic and I had to try and book it in myself. And I said to them, I called them, and I said, I need to get my baby's body back to the hospital for genetic testing. And she said, oh, don't worry, we'll give, we'll give it to you on the day in a box, but don't worry, it won't be see-through. It won't be see-through? won't be see-through, like, that was a bonus. And I came off the phone and, I mean, I was in such a daze, I thought, oh, brilliant, oh, that's good, that's good. And it was actually my sister who went, this is not how you're going to lose your baby, this cannot be the way you are going to lose him. And with her strength, and I've got an incredible counsellor called Flora Saxby who really held my hand. Um, I fought with the hospital for two weeks, bearing in mind I was carrying and, and, and a also Jax size. was, of course, you were showing. I was, yeah, I was. A so Jax is size. thinking he's yeah. got a little so brother on the way. So you already discussed it with him, like you've got I mean, a baby I, yeah, brother on yeah, the way. Yeah, absolutely. And friends, I, in those two weeks from when we knew we were terminating to, to when we had it done. I kept bumping into people and they were saying, oh, congratulations, and I would just... How pregnant were you by the time the termination happened? I have never divulged that because I feel that's one tiny bit of information yeah. that's just for me and my husband. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it was further than the 
safety scan yes. that they tell you that you know everything's fine after this scan. Is it because the termination for medical reasons? You this is a term that you want to be used yeah. rather than abortion because you feel that there's still stigma and judgment there, attached there to really the word is, abortion. And I, I I really hope we can get to a place where that isn't the case either. But especially for women who have been through this. The, you've lost your baby, but on top of that, you've got the guilt, the grief, the shame, the isolation. When I was going through it, I googled the hell out of it, and I couldn't find anyone who'd been through it. Mm. And it was the most—it's the most frightening place to be. It and the really response is. when you—you—I introduced Sarah to Syra, mm. and Syra wrote a piece in the column, and then you spoke about it. <clears throat> and you said that the response was overwhelming with yeah. women who have kept this a secret, yes. as if there yeah. is any guilt. It's the shame and the taboo that that we. Feel Feel that we have to carry because it's not spoken about or discussed yeah. or written about and I'm so thankful for you doing oh, that Sarah I really am and it meant so much to so many women I had a message literally just before I came on here because I put on Instagram that I'm on today mm. talking about it and a lady said I've never told anybody mm. and I'm sobbing writing this message Gosh. to you but I've been through it well, it says there, there are nearly twice as many terminations for medical reasons as there are still births um, it says this means there may be approximately 5,000 women enduring a termination for medical reasons every year. Mm -hmm. That's 14 babies lost in this way every day, every and yet day. we don't talk about it. Sorry, it feels like the system um, needs to change and be a bit more sensitive. What would you like to happen? I think if you're under a hospital's care for uh, antenatal, so if you're pregnant and you're going for your scans, if something goes wrong, if you have a miscarriage, they look after you. Yeah. If you have a stillborn, they look after yeah. you. So you can't say, well, look, if you lose your baby this way or this way, we've got you. If you lose it through termination for medical reasons, Go and find your own way to wow. it's just <clears throat> it just can't go on any longer. No. Mm. Well hopefully by you talking about yeah. it, it needs to get changed. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so, I really do. Um and how how are you and, and your husband Lex and Jackson doing now? We're good. Yeah. We are good, yeah. We've had uh, two more rounds of IVF since the termination, which ended in miscarriage. Oh um, sorry. But oh He's yeah. the most beautiful. Oh, you got, well, you, did get, you got married, shouldn't you? We as did. Well. So we went to Malibu for six weeks last summer and we just thought we're just going yeah. to do it. We just want some happiness. Yes, well, and we hope lovely. you find that happiness. And thank, thank you, you again so much thank no, thank for talking you. about it. Because, as you said, if you just help one person just to one. come to terms with this, yeah. and then you've done, done a, a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. If you, if you have been affected by anything that we've just talked about, there are helplines on our website with information.